hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to talk about how to develop uh, laravel image upload uh, application with this example you will learn how to upload the uh, image using laravel framework okay let's go to the example let's do the example okay here i will uh, first i will create a laravel uh, project new project i will open the cmd command line interface and I'll zoom it. I'll zoom it and let's create project uh, com composer create pro uh, project Laravel Laravel. Let's project name is image upload Laravel. Okay. It will create the project. Okay, our new project is created. Let's go to our uh, image upload Laravel. This is the our project. Okay, let's open this using VS Code. Our new Laravel project. Uh, let's go to open open folder and our new project is image upload Laravel. This is the our new project. Let's open this. Okay, now uh, we have our brand new uh, project. Uh, first, uh, first, uh, let's create our um, uh, view layer. I will create the view uh, first uh, using. Let's go to the, our resources. Inside of the resources, we have views. Inside of this view, uh, I will create. Uh, View call uh, home. Let's get uh, home dot blade dot uh, php. And inside of this home dot blade dot uh, php, let's get our uh, view. Uh, let's close this and let's. Okay. I will add the HTML. Uh, within here, I will create within the body. I will create a form tag. equal to let's say uh, we need to create a route I will create uh, I will uh, create route uh, call image upload I have to create this I will create it uh, let's say method as uh, post okay and uh, encryption is uh, as a multi part form data okay uh, let's say uh, our first input uh, first are the label label uh, for let's say image upload and let's say uh, please select image image to upload okay let's get the input input uh, let's say type as a file and name as uh, image upload let's say the idea is uh, image upload okay it is only accepted uh, accept only images images um, all okay uh, now we have our input and um, okay now we need uh, we need to pass our uh, CS, uh, CS uh, RF ID and also uh, we need to have input button uh, in, uh, submit button uh, let's say a uh, type call uh, submit uh, let's say value as uh, upload let's say name is uh, submit button okay. okay this is the uh, submit button uh, here i will create another div tag called uh, Class A uh, container. So uh, let's add this code inside of this, and uh, I will here I will add another style tag uh, to let's say a dot uh, container. Uh, let's say uh, padding. Let's say uh, twenty. Okay, and 
margin top let's say uh, 20px okay now our view layer is created let's create uh, uh, let's get a route uh, to this uh, view uh, okay let's get the route okay route let's let's go to the route side of the route we use this web route let's get the let's come in this we don't need this and let's add our uh, route let's say uh, route get uh, okay we need to have we need to create our uh, uh, controller let's create our controller first uh, let's say uh, php uh, artisan make controller call a web controller okay it created uh, that uh, controller is created let's uh, add that control to here let's say app http and controllers our uh, controller is web controller our controller is web controller okay and uh, yeah let's add our um, let's add our controller action as well let's go to our controller first application http controllers inside of the web control okay here we need to add uh, our uh, our uh, action let's create a fun uh, function let's add the public function let's say function as a upload action we need a request let's say a request okay and let's add the uh, um, let's say if uh, first uh, we return uh, uh, view our view is uh, home okay for now uh, let's check this is it working or not uh, cd public let's change the directory to public folder and let's run this uh, php s minus s and local local host 8000 okay now our uh, application is running let's go to the browser okay let's say uh, local host 8000 okay it's loaded uh, it says save code is not invalid route action okay we need to have uh, we need to complete our route we need to use this support action here let's go to our web route here we need to give at action uh, we can name this as a uh, let's say uh let's say at home okay now let's check this with browser Okay, uh, route image upload not defined. Okay, in here we need to create our another route for form post action. Let's create that as well. It is uh, post action. Same URL, same action. Uh, let's change the name to image upload. Okay, now let's refresh this refresh this okay now we have our uh, HTML part now let's create our uh, backend that mean uh, this controller uh, implementation okay here we just return our uh, route uh, once user click on the uh, submit button let's uh, create what what we want to do okay let's see here let's add the if not empty uh, let's say request uh, file 
our upload file name is uh, image underscore upload is the file name and let's say if it not empty then uh, we need uh, let's get the file name name equal to uh, let's say file name uh, create uh, I will create a new file name uh, because otherwise it will replace the once you upload the same file to uh, with uh, if we upload same file again and again then if we not create new name then it will replace the uh, old file then uh, I will create here new name let's say a uh, dollar uh, request uh, let's say a file okay for inside of this file let's set the file get image upload our file uh, upload let's say uh, get client origin uh, name okay now we have our file name our new file name and let's uh, let's uh, use this file name let's say request uh, file image underscore upload and say let's save this as uh, store as uh, let's say uh, inside of the images folder oops uh, and our file name a new file name and let's say uh, here public okay uh, okay let's add this now you can see uh, we have uh, we have uh, created our upload uh, uh, file upload thing now we completed let's add message as well because uh, user need to know what happened to that upload let's say message equal to empty and if the file is uh, successfully uh, saved let's say dollar message equal to uh, file upload completed okay and let's return this uh, with the message let's say um, message dollar message okay now we have uh, now we uh, have our uh, here we need to put the, okay now we have uh, we have set our message uh, uh, parameter message variable uh, we pass it into our view layer let's within the view layer let's read this uh, here we can add this to here I guess yeah we can add here let's say at if if not empty uh, dollar miss uh, dollar message then uh, let's say uh, dollar let's say call the message message okay uh, let's say end if okay if the message is set it will uh, show message otherwise it will not show anything uh, okay here we have developed our basic uh, upload process let's check this with uh, okay okay let's go to our image upload here uh, you can see I'm um, uh, let's run the upload first I will upload something uh, let's uh, choose file uh, let's say uh, this file let's click upload and it will say upload is completed okay when we go to our uh, file uh, if we check with this public folder we can't see any upload within the public folder it will not comes to the public folder uh, it uh, by default it will goes to storage within the storage we have app inside of this app we have a public and images inside of these images we can see uh, this is our uploaded uh, uh, file you it will save inside of this storage uh, folder if you need to change this to a public folder if you need to save this information these uploads to the public folder you can add uh, uh, you have to change the case you have to add another configuration uh, like a new driver okay uh, let's set that configuration um, 
um, okay let's go to our code inside of this uh, config file let's go to config config file we have file systems okay inside of this file system we have uh, uh, disk here we have disk we can uh, define a new uh, configuration like this let's say a new drive new disk let's say uh, public we can configure new disk like uh, public uh, let's say public uploads okay let's give the configurations let's say uh, driver uh, equal to local and uh, let's say the root as uh, our public folder public underscore path and uh, inside of this public we need to upload this to in, inside of uh, let's say uploads all the uploads uh, goes to this uh, folder and we need to come on. okay now uh, we have uh, created new uh, disk we can use this disk, inform disk configuration inside of this our upload within the our upload here we can give our disk information to here and now if we upload something uh, using this form let's upload a different thing let's go to my uh, uh, downloads folder let's use something okay let's use this photo okay let's upload this okay it will say it will upload this completed let's go to uh, folder okay you can see it will not upload it to storage uh, folder let's check with the public folder now the public folder yeah within the public folder we have folder called uploads it will automatically created and inside of this uploads we have images inside of these images you can see that our newly uploaded uh, file available within the this uh, folder within the public uploads images likewise we can uh, change we can change our location using uh, creating new uh, this using this uh, config file like us, we can create new disk and we can use uh, that uh, disk information when we do in the file upload. Uh, okay, this is the basic example uh, Laravel uh, file upload. I hope you guys understand the uh, this example. Uh, I think this video is helpful. If you think it's uh, helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Let's meet with the next video. Thank you very much.